Welcome to the Live PD After Action Report. I'm Dan Abrams along with Sean Sticks Larkin from the Tulsa PD Gang Unit. Before we dig in here and get an opportunity to do something we don't often on the show, which is to take some time and figure out exactly why the officers are doing what they're doing, explain to us what an after action report is. Yeah, Dan, an after action report, it's a debrief, basically. Um, anytime there's a major event, whether it's a car chase, a shooting, uh, you know, a, a foot chase, anything like that, it's a chance for the officers and the supervisors to get together and discuss what happened out there. And oftentimes these things are used for training. Let's do our own version of it now, uh, taking us to Utah, where there was an incident that the troopers there had gotten a report of a stolen vehicle that was about to make its way into Utah. Correct, yeah, this is a stolen car coming into uh, you know another state lines. Um, they were aware of it coming, so they knew what vehicle to look for. Um, pursuits are dangerous, and so they need to find a way to stop this thing as safely and as quickly as possible. Spike strips are actually one of the safest ways to do it. So they're positioning themselves now on opposite sides of the road. Correct. You've got the two troopers that are setting up on opposite sides of the road here. And what they're doing is they're going to lay their spike strips down. And basically, they're going to pull them in opposite directions, thus covering the entire roadway and stopping the suspect vehicle, hopefully as quickly as possible. But they've got another concern. They do. Out on your, uh, your roadways, you've got citizens, over-the-road truck drivers, et cetera, traveling. Um, you know, they're going 80 miles an hour there in Utah, and at 80 miles an hour, a vehicle covers 115 feet per a second. So they need to get these things out of the roadway as quick as possible. All right, so we're at the point here where they're about to spot now they've, they've, they've spotted it, right? That's the vehicle. Correct. Right here, you've got your suspect vehicle. It's a small Mercedes SUV, but right behind it, as we mentioned earlier, we've got citizens. We've got a uh, probably a family out on vacation. Then we've got an over-the-road truck driver, you know, traveling through as well. So the first vehicle is the suspect vehicle. Correct. And, you know, what they want to get those spike strips out there, try to hit as many tires as possible. And, and if you look right there, just perfect. Oh. I mean, right there, look at that. That thing is traveling right over the strips. Uh, they actually hit it both the front and back tires, um, thus flattening all four tires slowly. Um, well, but got, now they got, a, they got some more work to we do. We do. We've got a little problem. We've got the spike strips in the roadway. We need to get out of there as quick as possible. Uh, these happen to tangle up in this situation. The two tr troopers communicated to one another. Uh, one of them was able to pull them both out of the way just a half second before the citizens passed through. And it all worked out uh, amazingly well. Very much so. All right, thank you all for joining us for this edition of the After Action Report. See you soon.